I'm back, Ma. I see. I, um... Where have you been? With, with some friends. Friends. Trying to catch a bus over to Philly. Philly? What were you gonna... Philly? I overshot. Got a small crib there. From when his father passed. So that's the plan, huh? Run off and not face any of this? Leave me to deal with this mess? That's the plan? It was something. Don't know what I planned. But what happened? The plan go awry? No, I just... I, I don't know, Ma. I, I just came back. I see. You been smoking? You've been fighting. I... You want to hear or even care? Don't do that, Amara. Do what? Ask if I care. Put this on me. Deflect. That is not going to float right now. I'm not trying to deflect, Ma. I'm asking if you care to hear or if you prefer not to hear. Because maybe the details will make it better right now. I always care. I'm not saying you don't. Then yes. Tell me the gory details. I want to know what devil got into your hands to make you attack your teacher. You don't understand, Ma. Then make me. I want to start by saying I'm not justifying. There's no way to. I'm not justifying. Everything I say now is just the how, you know? The how and why, but not the excuse. I'm not making none of those anymore. I'm done. So give me the how. He kept questioning me. In class. Questioning you how? Didn't feel like being bothered. I said that to him, Ma. I told him I wasn't in the mood for being questioned. He's your teacher, Amari. He has the right Nah, to he don't. Nah, he was doing it. Been doing it all night. I was sick of it. We get to discussing the reading. Nate's son, Richard Wright. And he started asking questions. What made Baker Thomas kill that woman? What were his social limitations? What made the animal in him explode? And who he looking at when he asking all these questions, Ma? Who he looking at? Amari. Like I'm the spokesperson. Like I'm Bigger Thomas. Like I'm predisposed to some shit to know what it's like to be an animal. Tamari, watch your mouth. You hear me though? You hear what he's doing? He start picking me out. Asking me to asking me to answer. What did I discover when reading the text? Amari, he's your teacher. He's supposed to ask you about the text. Nah, he ain't. Nah, he was doing it. He ain't just talking native son. He ain't just talking text. He's saying something else, something beneath the question, and it's like I'm the only one who can hear it. That doesn't give you the right to lose your cool. That doesn't give you the right to be the animal. But it's all he's seeing. Won't leave me alone. I said, mister, don't pick on me today. I ain't got nothing to offer. But he won't leave me alone. Amari, he's supposed to ask you about the text. That's the teacher's job. I've told you this repeatedly. We're not talking to teachers doing their job, Ma. We're talking provoking. We're talking agitating. We're talking singling me out. On a day where I don't feel like being singled out. We're talking respecting my space. You're in school. 
You're not in your personal space. You're in a collective space, a space to be engaged and to be questioned and to be stimulated and to be revoked. That is education, Amari. I'm talking by his education, Ma. I'm talking disrespect. He knows. He knows he wasn't. He was saying something to me, directly to me. I know he was asking me in that room and that way in front of all those students on that issue. He was saying something directly to me. I know he was. Even if he was. Even if. What are you telling me? You telling me that makes you attack him? Are you trying to draw some type of perpendicular line here? Because I'm not seeing where these things cross. I told him back off. You said that already. I told him back off and he kept digging. And then? And then he says, Mr. Joseph, your perspective here is mandatory. You told the class your perspective would take a zero for the day. I'm still not seeing. You threaten my grades. You threaten to punish me in front of the whole class because I don't want to be your token responder. That's bullshit. So did you also cuss like that? Or were you reserving that disrespect for me personally? I'm sorry, I'm just ants. Making a point. You haven't made a point yet. You haven't given any indication for how your behavior was warranted. You haven't done anything but act as if you're above reproach and you're not. Let's forget it. No, let's not! No, let's! I knew you wouldn't! I knew this was futile. This is your third strike, Amari. The worst one! You attacked your teacher. You put your hands on your teacher. I pushed him. I didn't attack. You think they care about your semantics? I pushed him and he fell against the board. And it's been recorded by students. And, and, and they're not going to see anything different. Do you understand me? I tried to get up and leave. You won't let me leave. That's unreasonable. I told him I was in the mood. They don't care about your moods. Exactly. They don't care. They don't care what space and place I'm in. I know me. I know how to learn. I know when I'm good and when I'm not. And I said it. I'm not good. I said that. Then you asked to be excused. You say you need to go speak to your counselor immediately. You don't just get up and leave in the middle of a lesson as if you're some sort of king or god that no one can tame. Tame? Damn it, Amari. Tame? Do not do that. Don't do it. Don't twist and remodel this conversation and change the meaning. I'm not changing anything. I'm repeating verbatim 